Hi there guys, today I'm going to be looking at Hex, Shards of Fate, the current closed beta version. I admit I put a few alpha videos back up when I was uh, playing previously, but uh, things like World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls and other various Steam games got in the way. So we're now in beta, they've changed quite a lot of stuff it seems, and th for the most part now the thing I'm just going to be focusing on is card opening. This video is just going to show a little bit of me opening some of the cards I've got for being a backer. Now, the pack opening is a little awkward because they haven't got uh, multiple pack opening at the same time. I Oh, you can open 10 packs. Okay, they do. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show one pack at a time to show you what it does. Uh, when you open a pack, you drag it to there. And it does this uh, nice little animation that... Uh, then shows you the cards you're getting. All of them will uh, do that, so you can then right-click them. So what you got? Go. Oh, that looks nice. Whatever. You know, there's. Uh, I think. I think. I assume it's commons along the top. Uncommons in the middle. I don't know. I can't remember the uh, icons. I'll have to check later. But then your special card, you always have to click, and it goes. Ooh, we've got a uh, Drew's colossal walker in this case. Troop, Artifact, Robot, blah blah blah, all the stuff there, 8 attack, 8 defense, 5 cost. So now that's uh, what happens when you open a pack, you can then right click it away and OK. Then that gets added to your uh, stash in uh, these chests. These chests, you can get extra loot from them, which is pretty cool. But uh, currently you can't open them, that's coming soon, so you've got to stash the chest. And it goes into here. I used to have seven or eight primal primal packs, which give you legendary chests, because they're special packs for like backers and tournaments and all that. Then I've got, you know, a couple of uncommon chests. Uncommon chests. We're gonna try opening ten at once. And they have a different window, okay, it just uh hub drops it in this massive list which lags quite spectacularly. But that's pretty cool. It uh <laughs> pardon me, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Uh, drops all your cards in there, it'll show multiples together, which is great, so you know how many you've got of each one, you can right click them to check. This is nice, you choose the resource, they're pretty spiffy. I can't, as I said before, I don't remember the icons for uh, common, uncommon and all that, I assume it might be listed somewhere, if I can remember what it looks like from any special cards I can see. No, I can't because I'm a bit, uh, a bit tired tonight. So, uh, okay. Well, uh, then we get our uh, common chest. So we stash that. D yeah, I got more chests than I hoped. Okay, that's uh, chest opening and uh, pack opening. Even you can buy platinum to buy uh, stuff from the store here. You can go into the VIP program. Which you get access to prizes, you get a free booster, monthly tournaments, all that kind of stuff, which is pretty spiffy. Starter packs are cheap for 1000 platinum each. I chose humans, so I've got a human starter pack. In the alpha, you had access to all the starter packs. Not sure you do here. So here's my card stash. Essentially, this is your big folder of cards. You can go to your inventory stash, which will list your things like I have draft queue entry tickets and my chests. You can't really do anything with them at the moment. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then you can right-click your cards to see what you get. You can check if they're... Uh, whatever these mean, I currently don't know. I'm sorry, I've been out of the game for a while. This is your basic deck. The decks here I have are... Let's see. Load. I currently can do... I can select... Oh, I can select... Dwarf, Human, Human 2, Orc, or Shin Hair. I will take Human Bravery because I'm a human, I love bravery. This is your uh, champion. You select your champion here. They give you different abilities and all that. I think I may have explained this in my previous videos. You can check your uh, deck validation here. So you've got ooh, empty sockets. So you can then socket your uh, cards with the equipment and gems that you need. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry, as I said, got a cold. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I am just going to leave it there for now because 
the cold will overtake me and I have like 130 more packs to open. So I'll just open a couple more packs on the uh, on the video here. We'll open 10. And uh, we'll just look at some of the uh, more interesting looking ones for the art style. Elf Warlock. You don't really see many Elf Warlocks in uh, fantasy. Let's see. Protector Defender. I think he might be an uncommon. I've seen him prancing around in my uncommons before. He looks pretty pimp. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, it's very laggy because it's opening all the cards. Some ones with some cool artwork. Cool artwork. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Feral ogre. Looks like a Warcraft ogre. But very angry. Uh, what else? What else looks cool? Shroomshaw. Create two battle hoppers. That's pretty cool for little little buggy decks. Windborn acolyte. Looks a bit of a necrotic. And more of those shard of fate ones. Infiltrator bot. Spiders. Don't like spiders. Okay. And then I get my chests. Obviously I get more than one, so they all update here with the numbers of how many chests. I don't know if you can spin them, let, let, let's uh let's spin a chest, shall we? Oh, we can't spin a chest because it costs gold and I have none of that. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh I'll just open one more pack just to have a little opening. I like this much more than the other one. So I might just do this with the rest of my packs. Might take a while longer, but it looks cool. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I was thinking it may be showing commons along the top, uncommons along the middle, because I know Monkey the Nine Tails is one of the more uncommon cards. So, Mistborn, when to go? Yeah, I assume that's how it works. Okay. And then my last card, you click it. Crash of Beasts. Create one rhinoceros, shuffle back into the ah, yeah. Escalation is shuffle it back into the deck, then add the uh, number of text to each Crash of Beasts you own in all zones. That's pretty useful. I remember using that back in the alpha. So yeah, I will uh, leave that here for now and uh, say thanks for watching. This is the first part of the Hex beta. I might uh, do some more later. Bye for now.